hi, I'm here with an alumni of Oswego High School. I'm with... Mary Beth Fierro. I was formerly Mary Beth Maroney. I graduated from Oswego High School in 1980. So class of 1980. Class of 1980. I loved math and physics. And um, now I'm a math teacher at the high school. I have been for 23 years. And at Oswego High School. Oswego High School. At your alumni. Yep. yep. Okay, let's do a, a physics problem. And we're going to be calculating today the velocity of a pulse moving along a string. So we're looking for velocity of this pulse as it moves along a string. The formula for velocity is equal to the square root of the force over the mass to length ratio. We need to know the mass to length ratio. We read this as mu, the Greek letter mu, and that's equal to the mass to length ratio. And I will be giving you some values to sub into that. All right, imagine a string on a guitar. And I think I'm just going to randomly pick a size for our mass. The mass is going to be 0.300 kilograms. Well, that's a heavy string. And that's all right. I'm imagining it. And the length is 6 meters. That's a huge guitar. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and calculate that. So you guys would go on your calculator and do 0.3 divided by 6. And we get a mass to length ratio of 0 0.05 kilograms per meter. 0 0.05 kilograms per meter. All right, back over to our velocity formula. Our velocity formula is the force, which I'm going to leave alone for a second, over the mass to length ratio. And the mass to length ratio is 0 0.05. So we'll write that in. I'm going to randomly pick a force value. And my force value that I'm picking is 19.6. Okay, right. excuse me just for a minute. I've got to put in units, because this is a physics problem, plus I get to use the, uh, the smart board. So uh, mass to length ratio was kilograms, kilograms, per uh, meter. I'm going to put the meter up here because I can do that math wise. And the units of force are newtons, which are kilogram meter per second squared. So my kilograms will cancel out and I'll be left with 19.6 meters squared divided by 0 0.05 seconds squared. When I take the square root of it, whatever my number comes out to be, my units are going to be meters per second, which is the velocity we were looking for. So get out your calculators, do the math yourself. Thanks, Dr. Altman. Yes, I did calculate that myself. I took the square root of 19.6 and divided it by 0 .05, and I found out that the velocity is 19.8 milligrams, or sorry, meters per second. Meters per second. Velocity. I love it. Okay. Now, the velocity of the pulse through the material, when it hits one end of the string, it'll bounce back. And it'll bounce back inverted. You'll get this interesting thing happening. And when you've got uh, the pulse going one way, coming back the other way, if you continue to send more pulses, uh, something called interference happens. But basically, you can set up what's called a standing wave. And the string will vibrate up and down. And it will vibrate up and down at some frequency. And that frequency determines what we call in, uh, in music, in physics, pitch. And that will determine the pitch or what tone you, you hear. So uh, the velocity is depending on the string and the tension in the string. And uh, the pitch determines uh, uh, what you hear. The one variable we're leaving out of this, velocity equals frequency, times wavelength. And wavelength is the length of the wave. And if we're doing it in a string like that, it's pretty well determined by the length of the string. So if we get a shorter string, basically uh, the wave has got less distance to travel, so it can come back and bounces back and forth at a higher frequency. So a smaller wavelength equals a higher of frequency, because the velocity, we just decided, is depending on the mass length ratio and the tension of the string. All right, so let's do one more math thing here, and I'm going to get help for that. I want to take this equation, velocity equals velocity. So I want to take frequency times wavelength is equal to the square root of tension divided by mass to length ratio. I somehow want to get one equation that could tell me what my pitch 
is going to be. We just want to get the frequency alone, which yeah. is the F value, that's the pitch. And so remember, the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're just going to divide by the wavelength. Divide by the wavelength. We find out that the frequency, or the pitch, is equal to the square root of the tension over the mass to length ratio, all over the wavelength. So I was a clarinet player, and I'm still a piano player, and I can tell you that music is all math. Okay.